Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about the two important terms of the control systems. First is controllability and second is observability. So let's start with our topic. In control systems, we deal with various types of systems. So a control engineer must have the ability to control and observe the systems. Control means that the engineer, it can have control over the states of the system. This controllability and observability, it is related to the state space analysis of a system. So if we say that the control engineer, it must be able to control any system. So for controlling the engineers, they have developed the controllers. And these controllers should have control over the system. It means that they can be able to control the states of the system. So controlling a system means that a engineer, it should be able to change the inputs to the system. And through the changes in the inputs, it, uh, it is able to or he or she will be able to control the states of the system so that is related to the controllability and observability observability means that the engineer can observe all the states of the system so there was a scientist named as Kalman and he defined the two terms controllability and observability with respect to the state space representation of the system. So let us see that what is the definition of the controllability and observability when a system is can be said to be observable or controllable. Now, in state space representation, we define a system by its state space model. So, here consider a state space model. So, this is a state space model. Here, this equation x dot is equals to ax plus bu. It is the state equation. y is equals to cx plus du, it is the output equation. x dot is the state vector and u is the input vector. y is the output vector. These are the three vectors. State vector is defining all the states of the system and input vector is defining all the inputs of the vector output vector y it defines all the output variables of the system a b c d they are the matrices so this is a system which is defined in the state space form it is the state space model of the system now a system is said to be controllable the definitions of the controllability and observability as defined by the scientist Kalman are a system is said to be controllable if a control function ut at time at the initial state xt 
this input ut is able to transform the state from the initial state to a final state that is whenever we apply an input if we are applying an input to the system that input is able to transform the state of the system if it is possible then that system is said to be controllable it means that we as an engineer we are able to convert the state of the system from one time to another time okay like first the initial state is xt naught and we are able to change it to certain different state like xt1 or xt2 so if we are applying an input and the state of the system is changing it means that that system is controllable so let us write the definition of controllability So this is the technical definition of the controllable system that a system is said to be controllable if a control function ut can transform the initial state xt0 of a system to some required final state xtf in a finite time interval tf minus t0 where t should be greater than equals to 0. Now what we are doing here we are applying an input this input is ut and this input is changing the state from the initial state to the final state x t naught to x tf and this changes are done by the control function ut if it is possible in a system then that system is said to be a controllable system now observability observability means that the engineers or we are able to analyze or observe all the states of the system we are an external externally we can you uh, analyze or we can observe all the states of the system if all the states can be observed and measured then that system is said to be observable So a system is said to be observable if from measurements of the output carried over a finite interval of time the state of a system can be determined that is externally we can observe all the states of the system if externally externally we can observe and measure all the states then that system is said to be observable if some of the states cannot be measured and observed externally then it is it shows that some of the states they are shielded from the observation or they cannot be measured okay so these were the definition of observable and a controllable system now kalman he defined that how we can measure the controllability and observability of a system how if the state model is given to us then through the state model how we can determine that this system is controllable and this is not and either it is observable or it is not observable to us so let's see that how we can determine it so this is the controllability test defined by the scientist Kalman
so controllability test is defined as a system is said to be completely state controllable the necessary and sufficient condition is that the following n cross n m matrix it should have rank n and this matrix qc is defined as b a b a square b till a n minus 1 b n was our state variables we were having n state variables and a is our state vector state matrix and b is our input matrix so through the state model a state model is given to us x dot is equals to ax plus bu so a and b are given to us a was our state matrix b was our input matrix then calculate this qc matrix put the first element will be the b matrix second element will be the multiplication of a and b up till a n minus 1 b so these matrix if uh, when you have completely formed this matrix then calculate its rank if its rank is equal to n that is the n state variables then this system is said to be completely state controllable okay so this is how we can determine the controllability of a system now if there is no connection between a certain state and input because the definition of controllability says that we have an input and this input is able to change the state from the initial state to the final state that is xt0 to xtf so if any of the input is not connected to the state then that system will have a rank less than n and that system is said to be uncontrollable okay so here we have If there is no connection between a certain state and an input, then that system is said to be uncontrollable. Now, let's take an example that how we can calculate the controllability of a system whose state model is given to us. So, let's take an example that how we can determine the stability of a system whose state space model is given to us. So we are given the state equation of the system and we have to find out that whether the system is controllable or not. So for controllability we were having the matrix QC. We have to determine this matrix and it is given by B, A, B. Here we have N equals to 2, two state variables. So we are going to because the matrix it is up to A n minus 1 b so here n equals to 2 so 2 minus 1 1 so we are going to calculate up till b a b okay now state equation is given to us so here it is the a matrix and it is the b matrix so let's calculate a b a is given to us as 5 5 0 and minus 5 and b is 5 and 0 so a b will be multiplication of these two Five into five twenty five plus five into zero zero. So first element will be twenty five. Then zero into five zero 
plus minus 5 into 0 is 0 so second element will be 0 so this is AB now our matrix QC will be B that is 5 and 0 and AB that is 25 and 0 so this is our controllability test matrix Five zero we have written our B matrix and 25 0 we have written the AB matrix. Now we have to determine the determinant of this controllability matrix because we want to check the rank of this matrix. So 5 into 0 it is 0 minus 25 into 0 it is 0. So our determinant will come out to be 0. So the rank is not equals to 2 because rank for a system to be controllable the rank should be equals to n. n is here 2 but here the determinant is coming out to be 0 so its rank of this matrix is 1. It is not equals to 2. So this uh, system it is not controllable. Since the rank of QC matrix is not equal to 2 or we can say that it is a singular matrix. So this is a singular matrix. So the system is not controllable. For a system to be controllable, the matrix should be non-singular. So this is how we can determine the controllability of a system whose state model is given to us. Now comes observability. How we can check the observability of a system. Observability means that we can check or we can measure observe the state of the system externally okay so for a system to be observable So for a system to be observable if the following n cross n p matrix because there are p input uh, p outputs and n state variables so n cross n p matrix q naught it is non singular then or we can say that the rank of this q naught matrix is n and this q naught matrix is defined by c transpose multiplication of a transpose c transpose then a transpose square c transpose till a transpose to the power n minus 1 and c transpose here n is the number of the state variables so if this matrix q naught matrix it is a non singular matrix and the rank of this matrix is n then that system is said to be an observable system it means that all the states of the system they can be observed and measured externally Okay. Now, if there is no connection between certain state and the output, then that system is said to be non-observable. Okay. 
system is said to be unobservable. Now, how we can determine the observability? Let's take an example so that you can easily understand that how this observability test is done. So we are to determine the observability of the system and the equations of the system are given to us. Now the observability test matrix Q0 it is given by C transpose A transpose C transpose A transpose square C transpose till A transpose N minus 1 C transpose. So here n is the number of state variables here here we have two state variables n equals to 2 so 2 minus 1 1 that is we are going to calculate this matrix up till C transpose and A transpose C transpose. So this we have to find out now C matrix is given to us in the question. So C matrix is 1 and 1. This is our C matrix. We have to find out the C transpose. Transpose of a matrix is uh, the rows of this matrix will become the columns and columns will become the rows. So C transpose will be here we have the row 1 1 so it will become the column 1 and 1. Now A transpose it is we have the first row as 0, 1, so it will become the column, and second row as minus 2, minus 3, so it will become the second column. This is A transpose. Now we have to find out A transpose, C transpose. Okay, so this will be multiply these two matrices 0 into 1, 0 plus minus 2 into 1 so it is minus 2 here 1 into 1 1 minus 3 so it will be 1 minus 3 so it will be minus 2 again okay so here we will have q naught equals to c transpose a transpose c transpose Q0 is equals to first column will be the C transpose matrix that is 1 and 1 and second is A transpose C transpose so it is minus 2 minus 2. Now we have to determine the determinant because we want to check the rank of this matrix. So 1 into minus 2 minus 2 minus of minus 2 so it will be 0. Now determinant is coming out to be 0 so rank is not equals to 2 because there are 2 rows so rank is not equal to 2 one of the determinant is coming out to be 0 so this is a singular matrix and the system is unobservable. That is one of the state of the system it is hidden it is not it cannot be measured or observed externally. It is not linked with the output. So this is how we can check the observability of a system. So we have uh, checked all the systems. Uh, we have checked that how we can determine the observability and controllability of a system. Now related to this controllability and observability, there is a duality property. This duality property says that if there is a system which is uh, represented by this state model uh, by the state equations x dot equals to ax plus bu and y dot equal, y equals to cx plus du then we have these matrices a b c so if a b is controllable then a transpose and B transpose will be observable. If AB is
and second property is that if AB is observable, then A transpose B transpose will be controllable. That is reverse of it. If AB is controllable, A transpose B transpose will be observable. If AB is observable, then A transpose B transpose will be controllable. So in this video, we have studied about the two uh, important terms, controllability and observability related to the control systems. How we can determine that whether a system is controllable or not controllable. And the second test was about how we can determine that whether a system is observable or not observable. So I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you.